Yo guys and welcome to another video. I'm very busy at the shop as you see because tomorrow Frank and I are going to drive to Portugal to our friend Philip. Next weekend is Braga International Car Show and we have a lot to do there guys. We have a lot of very nice things planned. We're going to see Philip and some other friends of mine, Thiago from Smoked Remaps, Pablo and yeah man, we're going to be reunited with the crew. So. What I have to do, I have to button up the, uh, the trailer, I have to, have to tighten the wheel bearings some more, also bought new tires and rims, um, alloy, alloy rims, uh, the VR6, the VR6 is ready, uh, we have to load it tomorrow, and I want to button up the Corrado, I did an, a new alignment, uh, new wheel bearings and I still had some limo issues with the Corrado but I think I figured it out first I tried another mop sensor so I switched to a six bar sensor and as more as much boost as, as I can give the Corrado more boost is more limp modes so my next thought was Okay, I have to look at the basics, the location of the mop sensor. I, I made it to be like a very clean look. So like you see, I mounted the mop sensor on the back side of the intake manifold. But this is of course also a location where a lot of uh, pressure differences will be measured. Like eh, the, the turbo pushing all the, all the pressure and the valves and the pistons that will go down and suck uh, air into the engine. So I think there will be a lot of pressure differences around it right here. So I decided to mount the mop sensor, to relocate the mop sensor on the intercooler pipe. So it will be like this, straight after the intercooler like yeah like everyone does <laughs> but I wanted to try something different I thought hey the location on the back side of the intake it looks very nice you cannot see the sensor it looks very clean but I think I think that's the issue of the limp mode yeah it's a real struggle guys but let's hope that I can figure it out and I think guys if the limp mode issue is solved we are going to mount a nitrous kit guys next week to go to Braga with nitrous guys I'm very excited about that we also bought two draggies one for the VR6 and one for the Corrado so guys I am very tired <laughs> Luke just picked up the Mark II it's also aligned, it passed the technical inspection, so it's completely road ready. And we drove our first uh, yeah, round outside, we made the first drive outside. And Luke was so happy, man. He was so happy to drive the car. So yeah, that, that lights me up, man. Uh, that's the, yeah, it feels, you feel the fulfilling, you know, when you finish a project and yeah, the owner of the car show their their joy their yeah it does a lot I appreciate it a lot so guys I'm going to button up everything here in the shop and I think I will be back with you guys when everything is loaded well Frank will be here in the shop and we're going to drive to Portugal guys so this is going to be a very nice journey and I'm going to take you guys with me so no time to waste let's button up all this shit here <laughs> and let's go to Portugal guys let's go so guys it's Friday evening evening it's already almost 12 o'clock at night but we are finally ready Frank is also here and we are ready to drive to Portugal man Oh man, all our cars, the Corrado and the Mark III is loaded and we had lots to do man. We worked like 12 hours today. So normal people will say, oh let's go to sleep and let's mm -hmm. take some rest and go to drive tomorrow. But no, we are 
We are not going to do that. I like to drive at night and I want to be past uh, uh, Paris before the morning uh, traffic. So, yeah guys, it's finally happening. We are going to Portugal guys, so uh, let's drive our cars outside and let the journey begin, Frank. Oh man, come in. Finally, bro. Yeah, man. So, Philip, Diego, Tiago, Pablo, VW Club Coruña, here we come, guys. Let's go. engine still one year now yeah it is is already the, the guy who did it make a scoop because they they can get it in <laughs> cycles <laughs> you like it frank yeah it's full of yeah. dust from nice the dick, eh? it's full of dust from but also i i only saw the decals the new decals on the sticker black sheep for sure <laughs> yeah turbo fans yeah. yeah, it's a real nice car. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. So this is the engine that we send it, we shipped. Yeah. We shipped to you. And uh, he's already brand new from inside. I clean everything that I could. Oh yeah. Uh, what a difference. It's Frank's old engine. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. <laughs> Yeah, you did a nice job. That's a new dog. He's oh, you have a new dog? Yeah, it looks like a hyena. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but he has a dog like Malik. Yo! But he's friendly as fuck. He's very friendly. Yeah, he likes that. He's been around. Hey! Malik! So, yeah, Frank. We finally made it, man. Yeah, <laughs> To my friend, yeah. Philip. Oh, man. And, uh, so happy to be here. I already asked if you want a nitrous, nitrous kit. Uh, I asked the guys and you can get it to one day. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Guys, you will, it's possible to get a nitrous kit here within a day. <laughs> and here we have the second Mark II underneath the, the shield. It's uh, Bia's car, his girlfriend's car uh, here. I, I, the, v, the V6, the VR6 I is going to be in this car. Oh yeah, yeah. So you took it from me, yes. This part is solid. Did you took it? Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. shipped it on the pallet. It's yeah. Ah, oh, nice. I, 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 I put everything in order, so you're gonna see parts everywhere through the house. <laughs> uh, because I have to rearrange okay. everything. It's everything. Right <laughs> again. <laughs> We have the sea, guys, so it's perfect. Yeah, because my uh, uh, the 
It's just tips. Oh, yeah? And I can take it out. Ah. Yeah, it's like one of those, oh, I know, uh, our, uh, uh, how do you call it? Out on the bunch, they come over the pool, right? Yeah. <laughs> now Frank is happy. Frank, show your happy face. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, we made it to Portugal. <laughs> oh, and it's such nice weather here in the Netherlands. Uh, when we left, it was like constantly raining, very cold. You almost wear, would wear your winter jacket. <laughs> but here it's like around 35 degrees. I'm going to take the Corrado from the trailer because I have to button up some things like the intercooler piping and uh, relocating the mop sensor and afterwards we're going to drive the Corrado and check if we can change something about the tune but um, yeah I'm very confident about the the new location of the mop sensor I think it will change a lot let's hope that it will finally solve my problem with the lint mode um, so yeah guys and the Golf I feel it Guys, it's such a nice car. Mark II, original GTD. The rear pop windows, pop out windows. And a PD engine. Real clean build, guys. He also put it some neat new decals on the car. Yeah, man. And I really have to paint the front end of the T1. <laughs> But yeah guys, so I'm going to take the Corrado from the trailer, uh, let's put it in the garage and let's fix the intercooler piping guys. Within a few days, today is Tuesday, we arrived here yesterday, we rest a little, but today is Tuesday and Friday will be the Braga event guys, so we have a lot to do, but also we're going to take it easy because it's our vacation, of course. So, but we wouldn't be vac builders if there's nothing to range on, you know. <laughs> so, guys, let's go. <laughs> so, guys. We're having a great time here at Philip's place. We're having a barbecue with a lot of friends, a lot of car guys like you see. Don't take them in my house. And Philip is getting oh, yeah. crazy with the barbecue. <laughs> Philip! <laughs> You're crazy man! <laughs> So guys, we are having a nice barbecue at Philip's place. It's like a real Toretto house, guys. There are a lot of tuned cars here. Also a very nice Scirocco on air ride. A lot of Hondas. Yeah, guys, and we have a special guest. Our friend Roy uh, was on vacation in Portugal and it was very close by, so we also came. Roy, Roy, say hello. Yo. Yo. <laughs> so also Roy came by, it's so nice. But we are having a very nice time here. Um, tomorrow we have to prep our cars for this weekend for the Braga International Car Show. I think a lot of these cars are coming with us. Also a lot of friends from Spain, from our Smoked Remaps group are coming with us to uh, the Braga event. So I think we will go with around 
30 or 40 cars guys with a very big group so yeah man let's relax a little let's enjoy our meal and I'll see you guys in a bit let's go <laughs> Sancho is on. We we have to leave something for Braga, man. <laughs> so guys, all the guests are gone. We made some pools with the Corrado, but it's still crap. But Tiago from Smoke Bree Maps will come and join us tomorrow at midday. And we're going to check if we can get rid of the fucking limb mode, guys. I think, and I hope it's because of the tune. We also have a different ECU and a nanometer. So I can uh, monitor the boost inside the car. The nanometers are very precise. But, yeah man, it was a real nice barbecue. You did your mm -hmm. best. Yeah. And I tasted it. <laughs> yeah. At least I I tried to Yeah, and it was here. really, really nice with all your friends. Yeah. It was like I said earlier, it was a real Toretto's house today. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah with all the cars outside <laughs> and like La Familia all the eating. And it. Everything, yeah. yeah, it was really nice. I hope you guys liked it. So tomorrow we going to finish up all our cars, we're going to take off the hood from the Corrado, we're going to load all our stuff because on Friday, no, on Thursday night we're going to drive to Braga guys for the Braga International Car Show I will yeah. make a separate video about the event I also made a video about the event from last year and guys it's a real jungle there it's nothing like I experienced before and I think this year will be much more yeah this year will be crazy guys and Frank has never been there I've been there for three or four years in a row it's also the event where I met Philip so and it's already almost four years ago imagine yeah so uh, yeah our friendship grow a lot yeah in the last few years of course and it's very nice but yeah yeah also add everything to grow right yeah of course but it became also a thing that we yeah. are sharing yeah together every year almost. every yeah. year yeah so i'm very excited about that guys because it's a very crazy event with drag races drifting like it's also a car show with show cars but it's like three days in a row non-stop with like even at night people are like burnouts man you have to see it for yourself or in the next video but red limiters and everything yeah it's craziness craziness it's like an event without rules <laughs> it has rules but nobody knows <laughs> and nobody cares yeah yeah it's rules and the organization is is good but yeah. it's too much people to handle it's normal but but it's, it's really good it the love the the people it's because there are a lot of people it makes the event yeah yeah and also is the one of is the biggest one i think in you, europe no 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 in uh, I, I, iberia mm. so spain and portugal is the biggest one yeah so for sure it, it brings a lot but of also if you spain. compare it with like german race wars it's Mm, completely not the same no but if you compare it with the german race wars we are also going in about three, three or four weeks, three weeks when we go back to the netherlands at the end of our vacation like immediately we go to german race wars it will be again a drive for almost six hours mm -hmm. <laughs> and you have to join us bro uh, we will see we will see but tomorrow we're going to button up our cars for the Braga International Car Show and we're going to yeah, clean the stuff up here, go to bed and tomorrow is a new day. So guys, see you in a bit. See you tomorrow. Ciao. 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 So guys, today we are prepping our cars for the Braga event. Frank is busy with his hood because if he wants to drive with the track day, he has to mount the hood on the event. And Tiago came by from Smoke Remaps to help me out. We're checking what the limp mode costs, what the, what the causes of the limp mode, so yeah man, let's go and uh, make some lounges guys and let's check if it will be alright, so let's go.
Santiago doing his magic. <laughs> so what we think is happened because last year in Braga I broke my turbo, we tried to adjust the tune but afterwards in Santiago we came to the conclusion that my turbo bro was broken um, and afterwards we only did some tune changes like on distance um, we did a lot, we checked with PCDS while driving and we come to the consideration that uh, we used the wrong base map at least for the setup as it is right now so we're going to make a complete new map uh, start from scratch and yeah we can just just try just try and do some adjustments and let's hope that at the end of this end of this evening or maybe within an hour or two the car will be okay guys because this evening we're going to drive to Braga the event will start tomorrow and we want to be there on time to make sure we have a nice spot for the weekend so but very amazing that Tiago came out for the rescue and helped me out these are some real friends here in Spain <laughs> Do you want to try a lunch? Okay Tiago thinks he found the problem, he's going to make or adjust the map again and he already said the limp mode will be gone so I'm very curious. They are still prepping their cars and we're going to create a multi-map with the smoked Wii maps flames guys. I haven't seen anyone else yet with the crazy flames of smoked Wii maps. I know Geotuned has a flame map. Uh, I know father uh, of England he came like one of the first with the flame and the pops map of a, of a TDI but not way so aggressive as the one from from Tiago from smoke green map so we're going to put it also because we are going to Braga and we have to spit some flames guys I will to Braga I <laughs> Braga <laughs> man okay okay uh, we had a little setback um, I was busy with uh, Corrado, 
and we had that panel on the side of the Corrado. It was like resting on the yeah, on the house, and it felt it felt on the Corrado all the scratches and with all the fucking limp mode of the car and. I was a little bit sick of it. I said to Frank, no oh, man, fuck Braga. I'm sick and tired of the Corrado, <laughs> but... Okay. We are going to Braga, man. Yeah, we, we, are, we are going to Braga. Yeah, that Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So guys, almost there. Let's try again one more time. Let's hope we will get rid of the limp mode issue. And afterwards we are going to Braga. Yeah. Kevin, yeah. bring my map. <laughs> it's on my laptop. I will yeah. take it. I want the <laughs> <laughs> Philip also wants the flames. <laughs> Do it again, Philip. The impression. <laughs> you guys are going to see it. It's crazy, guys. Let's go! So, Tiago, he finished the map. He made a multi-map for the Corrado. Uh, map 1 will be uh, 1.8 bars of boost it will be like a cruise street map map 2 will be a drag map 3.2 bars of boost and map 3 will be fuego flame map so i'm going to flash the issue right now and then we're going to take one more try and check if the limp mode is finally solved guys so stay tuned I'm going to flash it right now be right back guys
but guys very glad that the that the limo is solved man fuck yeah. i was like on oh, going to braga still the limo man it will ruin my weekend sí que corrado is hulk right? <laughs> yeah man so happy guys so happy so the next step will be for now driving back to philip's house uh, prepare the corrado and the tiguan they put the, the tent and everything put all the stuff in our cars because i think within one and a half hour we're going to drive to braga international car show guys so i think i'm going to wrap this video up for right now i will see you guys at the braga international car show i really want to thank you for watching my video if you like the video spam that like button subscribe to the channel and i see you guys in the next one ciao <laughs>